branding, photography, video. I f- this up. Let's start again. <laughs> photography. It's okay. photography. Photography. Are you thinking of pho? Like, are, are you like th- photography? Like, I, I wasn't, but now I am. I like pho. I fa, want fa, noodles. Fa, 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 fa. Name this one. Better run, 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 psycho killer. (gasps) Talking heads. Come on, 1977? Yeah. That's my boy. Yeah. Talking heads. Do you really? Yeah. Burn down the house once in a lifetime? Or or letting the. No, it's once in a lifetime. Yeah, once in a lifetime. Yeah, dude. Come on. I'm not knocking it. I'm just just so impressed. I know. Wait, there's my thumb. I'm super Ding. knocking. Can you get like super a sparkle? It'll, it'll freeze frame. What? Why? <laughs> Hello, this is David Byrne from Talking Heads. I can't keep this all to myself. I got all you need and I'm selling you well. Talking it up. Hey, who should I tell? Like, blah, 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 blah. I can't keep this all to myself. Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Pitch Session, a weekly podcast where we like to sit down and look at a real brand and over the course of four 15-minute segments, look at their branding, go over ideas and concepts to help them grow through photo and video content, and at the end, wrap it all up with some awesome, hopefully awesome, uh, marketing tips that they can better use their ROI and better tell their brand story. I'm Jason. I'm Nathan. I'm Hilda. And together, we are EO7 Media. Guys... Welcome to the show. Ooh, that was good. Uh, was it? I'm, I'm still reeling that he took second spot now instead of third. What do you mean second spot? He said, I'm Jason. Oh, my said, God. I'm Nathan. I know. I, I, can, I can see you. I, my, 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 <laughs> my standing is I dropping. I'm sorry I did that. No, no, no. You're my boss. I'm sorry I did. Let's edit it. <laughs> Ed, edit wow. it so that she no. goes after nope. him. We're leaving it now. Can you're, we redo it? I'm no. So, I'm, well, no. I'm glad we're on good terms today because we're going to talk about I, some awesome... <laughs> Branding. I'm, I'm not upstaging you, Hilda. Just one You're my more superior. thing. You're just one more thing for me to rag on oh, you about. No. I love getting ammunition. Okay. All right, guys, welcome to the pitch session. Here we are. Guys, thank you so much. Yeah, Nathan, thanks. thank 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 you for being uh advantageous and oh, yeah, jumping no, up. I'm I'm working I work for you too. I love you guys. <laughs> both of you. Don't worry, you won't get fired. <laughs> okay. Uh this week we are talking about a local cleaning company mm-hmm. called Kathleen Squeaky Clean LLC. Uh Kathleen Squeaky Clean is a like I said a local business company, a local business company, a local cleaning company that deals with home cleaning, house cleaning, uh Airbnb cleaning, but I don't think she handles big corporate cleaning. I think maybe like small business would would be on that mm. that topic. Um, her specialty is deep cleaning. She really wants to focus on the fact that she is really good at deep cleaning where uh, so many other companies out there don't really do it. Like they can, mm-hmm. but they don't focus on it. And she really focuses gotcha. on the deep, deep cleaning aspect. Right. Nice. So that's kind of, so that's a big part of the brand in a way, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that should be a huge selling point. I think yeah. so too. Mm-hmm. Um, her brand avatar and her avatar is... Uh, a brand avatar is your ideal client. Her avatar is a woman in her early 40s, middle class, uh, works from home, owns her own business, or has, you know, she's a working woman. And is in Elgin. And in the Elgin area. And her website does specify that she works in a multitude of different cities around here, but it is El- Elgin-based. Mm-hmm. Um, her goals for this campaign are to get people to seal the deal. So she feels like she's getting a good reach of people out there, but she wants to walk into someone's house, pitch her business and sign that contract and make that money so she can grow. Because her brand goal is she wants to grow. She does not uh, like the idea of staying as is. She is a career focused woman. She wants more employees. She, that she wants can more send employees. out to, yes. to jobs. She wants more teams. Bigger teams. Uh, yeah. Right now, she has uh, nine employees and she's aiming for 30 to 35 in the next couple years. And we asked her specifically on the phone. We said, uh, now, are these just anyone you want or do you want dedicated, good cleaning people? And she said, no, no, I have to train them myself. Right. So, and, and I love that, that she has standards. such high standards. Mm-hmm. And I think that's something that um, should be 
like displayed somewhere prominently, mm, right. you know, like high standards of cleaning. I train all my employees myself. That's a I, very good point. I would point. love that. I would love that. Yes. Oh, I like that because I mean, as a business owner, mm-hmm. it's it, 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 the hardest thing to do is to send someone out to represent your business if you yeah. don't have like that full trust in them yet. Yeah. And it's and a great even when you do, even when you do, it's still it's still nerve wracking. Yes. Mm-hmm. You're right. Um, but training them yourself to hold up to your standards and then send them out. That's amazing. Yeah. That's like one of the best feelings in the world. And that's how you grow. You know, you grow from growing other people up and, you know, doing good things. Um, the one thing that I wanted to push uh, on her website and on Google in general, her reviews are through the roof. Mm-hmm. She has a ton of good reviews, all of them five star. I wonder if they're, are they listed on her website or uh, you have they, they are. You got to scroll, scroll, scroll down a little bit. Like all the way? Uh, no, no, no. They're in the middle. They're in the middle? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah, scroll up a bit. Oh, you just blew oh, right by them. Oh, okay. Is, is this one of these uh, one-page websites? Yes. Okay. Yes, oh, yes. there's the testimonials. Okay. Uh, so uh, going over really quick, she does have a website. She has Instagram. She has TikTok. She has, uh, what else does she have? Facebook mm-hmm. and a Google page. And her website is a Google business page. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and that's the one thing I would definitely recommend is getting a dedicated uh, website. A domain. A domain. Yeah. yeah like something with clean dot com. Dot com or something or similar. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. And, and she, then reroute it if, you know, if she, she wants easy. to keep this website. Yeah. yeah. She also noted that website is something that she... Um, probably use it needs the most work on mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she made that yeah. clear to us and so the and also with the reviews it, there's only a few reviews on here whereas if you look at her google reviews actual number is a lot higher well let me look it up on, on here because okay. this is the <laughs> mm-hmm. uh okay, reviews da, da, da. yeah she this has is good podcasting. she has uh 29 reviews um, most of them five stars. So there's that one random 29? person. 29? 29, yeah. Which and is... like we've said before, uh, 29, like if, if, if you have a lot of reviews and all of them are five star, mm-hmm. that's super sus. That's so, that's okay. really yeah. suspicious. Yeah. Right. You want like a lot of mm-hmm. reviews at like 4.9 or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, high, but... or, or you have most of them at mm-hmm. five and then one at yeah. one. Yes. And basically anyone in their right mind can look at that yeah. one review and go, oh, they're mm-hmm. they're bat crazy. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, don't, right. don't worry about that. Yeah. About and her. I see that she does reply to some of the reviews. I suggest Good. that she re- replies to all of them because that just looks better. And it's better for your SEO. Yes. Too. Here, look through here because that's. Okay. Yes. So there's a few that she didn't reply to like this. Oh, Andrea Tyler. She should be like, oh, thank you so much. Or, you know, mm-hmm. what, whatever it is, just oh, quick reply. Quick thank you yes. is a big yes. deal. Yeah. Like this one, she said, thank you for your support. So that's good. But she should be thanking everybody mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. making some sort of personal comment like, oh, I love meeting your dog when I come over. Right. You know, she's such a joy to play with or something. So that adds a more personal touch that she remembers the house and the client yes. that's reviewing her. So that kind of heart's stringing a little and bit there. As a pet owner, uh, I have four cats and a dog. Mm-hmm. If, if if you're going to remember my cats and take care of them yep. and not like, you know, let them outside mm-hmm, or, mm-hmm. you know, ha- be like, you have to lock your cats up in a room. Yeah. Uh, that's a huge selling point. Yes, absolutely. So by saying something like mm-hmm. that, like, something oh, very we, we personal. love your cats. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. And we'll, we'll get into the photo and video in yep, a little yep. bit. But uh, I love... I love that I- idea. Mm-hmm. I really, oh man, Did I love that idea. Did we start this timer? So I made yeah. a mistake. I didn't start the timer. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> but but that, that should be about 15 minutes, you, you say? Yeah, oh, I think we're pretty know close what? to 15. I started a timer here. I can check mine. Wow. So um, are there any other branding elements that we need to go into? Um, N- get more contract. Get more contract. Maybe uh, I think we should um, encourage through the photo and video uh Developing a stronger brand identity mm-hmm. in terms of I think a so slogan. too. Yeah, and we're not going to write her slogan for her, no. but mm-hmm. in terms of uh, coming up with a more recognizable, mm-hmm. more yeah. uh, cohesive, and it strategy. doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a certain type of slogan. It could just Correct. be something that she specializes in. Like it could literally be we specialize in deep cleaning. Yeah, like well, that could be literally super it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So because um, that's so maybe the one that's thing something that, to focus on with the photos and video. I think mm-hmm. Nathan. I think you hit it right on the head. I think the number one thing mm-hmm. outside of sealing the deal mm-hmm. is. 
cohesion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so every time she posts like a before and after, she could be like, we are the deep cleaning specialists or we specialize in deep cleaning. So mention this, that your logo on everything the same. Yes. Or, so um, I, we still have time. Uh, I, I noticed that on the TikTok and on the Instagram a lot. She uses a lot of stickers and a lot of like an, an, animations. OK. Um, maybe I should show you what I'm talking about. OK. Uh, but she uses a lot of an, an, animations here. And uh, go away, screen thing. Okay. Um, because of these stickers, like they're not a bad thing, but I want cohesion with them. Mm-hmm. Like use the same one all the time. So mm-hmm. every time I see that sticker, I know it's your video. Mm-hmm. But on top of that, every time I see the sticker in my own TikTok, I'm like, oh, I'm thinking of Kathleen. Mm. So you think of that same thing. And then right. think about your branding too. So like use the same the same font choices mm-hmm. when you're doing it. And, and she is. She's doing a... Well, here it's yeah, 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 yellow. Mm-hmm. But uh, keep, keep it pink. Mm-hmm. If her brand color is pink, do every one of them pink. Um, and we'll we'll get into the videos in a little bit. But I I think cohesion through every platform, website, Instagram, TikTok, everything should have. You should instantly know who this is just by the video alone yeah. without looking down at the tag. Yeah. And that's one of the hard, hardest things yeah. any business can do. So that could be as simple as a pink frame around everything she posts to like match when, her branding. When every mm-hmm. video we do, we do a copper frame mm-hmm. or, around it. So you'll see that copper frame because no, no one else does copper frames. You'll know it's us mm-hmm. instantly Just without some, even seeing some it. tiny, small little note mm-hmm. that adds a little bit Super of small. something personal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. But it is a lot of different animations. Yeah. <laughs> a lot so, of stickers. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are we good on this segment? Uh, I think we're good on branding. Okay. Um, we have our goals. We talked about mm-hmm. the goals that she wants yep. more employees. Yep. Okay. And she wants to start working on contracting. So contracting. not only sealing the deal, but getting contracts together. We are not yes. going to recommend contracts because that is not our business. But the one thing I will recommend really quick is get a lawyer. Um, it's a one-time, co- like get actual physical con- con- contracts. Like... Like, I will do X amount of work, I, I, you pay money. I, I get it. She but, mentioned that on the phone. Right. She just wants to seal the deal. I know. But she said, I really want to get start putting contracts in, in, in She place. doesn't have contracts no. now? Gotcha. All right. So, That's where I was sorry, confused. Sorry. Yeah. My brain jumped ahead. Yeah. Um, she's not using contracts, but she really wants to. So get a, con- get, get a, get a lawyer. It'll cost you. It's going to cost you more than you think it is at the start. But man, that is going to save you nightmare fuel for the rest of your life. And once you have that contract in place, you can make small little tweaks for it and everything's going to be fine. Um, but that is, oh man, that is worth the money. That is absolutely worth the money. We got a, we got a lawyer to do ours and it was, nice. it was scary. Yeah. Like that price tag is really scary, mm-hmm. but But hopefully you only have good. to do it once. You only and have to do it yeah. really right. once. Yeah. Can you stop this thing from sliding? It's driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's All go right. ahead and jump out of... Uh, branding and video. into video. video. All right, there we go. Oh, I hit the time now. You, you pushed know. Now we can go. All right, uh, for video, what she's doing right now is she's doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff on Tik TikTok. Uh, number one, I have to say it because it's pretty much my slogan: get a YouTube. There's no reason why you shouldn't have a YouTube. Every business should have a YouTube. Why, Hilda? Why should every business have a YouTube? Every business should have a YouTube because YouTube and Google are the same company. So when you type in a Google search, such as cleaning um, companies near me, not only will Google show you cleaning companies near you, it will show you cleaning companies who are on YouTube near you. So if you're the only cleaning company with a YouTube video in Elgin, you are going to be right at the top. Yeah. And Mm -hmm. Google will always push video first before anything else. Um, and on top of that, Google is the number one most used search engine on the planet. And YouTube is number two. Exactly. So there's no reason you shouldn't have a YouTube, mm-hmm. even if it's just to host yep. a couple videos. And it's it's of very scary. I know every time you started pushing YouTube on me, I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to. Because it's scared. To, yes, now I know. Getting used Thanks to, to him. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's and it's it doesn't have to be anything long. Like we're talking thirty seconds. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, before yeah, yeah. and after and what would go, her in action. What would go good on the YouTube. So that's where we're going to dive in oh, right now. So right yeah. now she's doing re- that was a really good transition, by the way. Yeah. Thank that was you beautiful. For pointing it out. Yeah. Too. I, I, I I love stopping the forward progression of things Stop, to call out on. good things. Really smooth transition. <laughs> I gotta put a I, I, I am I am so anti Bob Odenkirk and David Cross. I love I'm killing everything that they've done That's for our, the greatest television show. It is amazing. Show. 
He just did that to shut me up. There's no transition. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. (laughs) Great transition, Hilda. Let's move into video. Uh, So right now, again, she's doing a lot of behind the scenes. And I think that might be the best. Yeah. Sorry. The second best thing she can do. Because? Uh, Number one, her best thing should be testimonials. She should get people, her clients, on video. It doesn't have to look good. It doesn't have to sound good. And I know that's the one thing I always push is sound. Sounding good mm-hmm. on video is more important than mm-hmm. looking good on, on video. Mm-hmm. Um, but if literally she is getting a cell phone video of a client at their home, I'm good with that. Mm. If you want to step up your business and make it look more professional and make it look more um, dynamic and like something that's bigger, then you do hire a videographer with some good lighting. Have them sit down in a kitchen because, as we all know, kitchens will sell a home before anything else. People will choose a house to buy based on the kitchen before any other piece of, of the, the house. That. Interesting. I've never yeah. bought a it house. Is, wow. It is your absolute biggest investment in, in a house. So why do you think that matters for her testimonials? Uh, one, because people love kitchens, regardless of who you are, regardless of demographic, regardless of cultural background. Everyone is has this emotional connection with a kitchen because that's where family congregates. That's where friends congregate. It's Mm -hmm. food, it's cooking, it's life, it's Mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. Okay. So have it in the kitchen. So it's automatically Mm -hmm. more comfortable. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. And guess what? The kitchen's one of the hardest things to clean in the house. And the one mm-hmm. thing that no one wants to. Right. And, and when they see her in a squeaky clean. Yes. yes. That, that'll reinforce yeah. that this woman does some deep cleaning. And not only does she do the deep cleaning, here's the client that's happy with her happy. services. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The other hard thing to clean is a, is a bathroom. I'm not going to have someone no. sit in their bathroom while they're no, doing an interview. No, that's, that's yeah. not cute. Also, yeah. kitchens are usually well lit because there's a window. There's usually a yeah. window. Yeah. 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 So ma- make sure that whoever is doing your... Um, Video, mm. I, even if it's definitely, definitely own, video, yeah. Make sure that the client giving the testimonial is facing towards a giant window. Right. So if you're going to do it yourself, make sure the the client is always facing toward a window. Um, if you hire a videographer crew, we will bring lights to actually make them look even that much much better. Um, so but yeah. ha- having a quick one minute testimonial, like she has these great Google reviews, mm-hmm. uh, a testimonial will blow those out of the water because someone will watch a minute long video Mm -hmm. faster than they'll read a three sentence review. I would rather see someone in their home be happy with the services Mm -hmm. saying, Kathleen was amazing. She came in, she pet my cat. She, uh, she cleaned this kitchen. Can you see this kitchen? You know, like having that kind of excitement Mm -hmm. and, um, judging from her social media, Kathleen is a very personable person. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I kind of want to see that engagement too. I want to see like her on camera, yeah. way more than she is. Mm. So, but having those testimonials, I think is, is, is dramatically important for getting more people, but that's, what's going to seal the deal. Again, we're living right. in an augmentator society. We no longer praise the creative. We praise the review of the creative. So, uh, if I see someone that who's happy with the, their services, it's the most authority you could have. It's having the a most lot authority. of happy customers and showing their face. Mm. Yeah. And remember that word authority. Authority is what Google uses for everything. So the more authority mm-hmm. you have on a subject, the more you're going to appear on everyone's search. And especially when you're in like a, a very specific market, like you're, you're ju- if you're targeting Elgin uh, uh, right, customers right. to be the most highly acclaimed uh, cleaning service mm-hmm. in Elgin with the most reviews, the best reviews, mm-hmm. and 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 marketing that the most, yes, getting the most visibility of that, that'll give you the most authority as, as I a agree. brand. Mm-hmm. And ha- being a big fish in a small pond, and let's say El- like if she was just focusing on Elgin, her website does have like eight or ten other cities around mm-hmm. here. But um, being a big fish in a small pond allows you to get more attention. Like you're going to have more people being like, wait, wait, is this person's really that good? Uh, we have to hi- hire them. So focusing on that small aspect instead of Chicagoland area, you're just going to yeah. be, you're, you're just going to drown mm. in right. everything else. So uh, focusing on that geographic location, like, like you said, mm-hmm. Nathan, really mm-hmm. smart. Um, so the te- testimonials, definitely. Um, before and afters. Oh my God, this is where, I, this is where I've been like dying to jump into, uh, the before and after videos. Like, you know, we have examples. Maybe I, I should mm-hmm. show them. Uh, she does be before and after video. Oh, that's not her. I, um, want to mention real quick. I, I came across, I don't know how, I guess YouTube recommended for some reason. I actually watched, um, 
a deep cleaning video from Sweden. Oh, okay. Okay. And it was like 45 minutes long. And I don't know, I was hooked from minute one and I watched the <laughs> yeah. whole thing. I didn't understand why, but I couldn't stop. <laughs> Right, you so, love cleaning. You're you're the great demographic. You actually do like you like you come over to the studio and you're just like, where's the brush? I know. Where's I, the broom? I love cleaning. Vacuum what can for I say? Fun. I love vacuuming. Um, the before and video, the before and after videos are not only like great for business, mm -hmm. but my wife, my wife will literally mm -hmm. sit up in bed mm -hmm. until like two a.m. watching yep. not not these videos yeah. specifically, but she'll watch the before and after video of cleaning. It's so mm -hmm. satisfying for hours. It's so satisfying. Oddly satisfying. Yes. that's what I was trying to talk about. Satisfying. Before. Yes. And, and when you say that it's it's before and after, like they show the whole cleaning process, like in fast motion. Not, not always. Not necessarily. Yeah. Like like okay. for this one right right here, we're we're seeing a fridge. It's just a photo. Mm -hmm. uh, not a fridge. A, a shower. Mm -hmm. It's a really dirty shower. Mm -hmm. It's got water stains on it. And ever, anyone who's ever had a shower. Has yeah. water stains, but being able to clean that, boom! Yeah, uh, and we we came across awesome. the one where she was scrubbing the shower head and it was sped up. So that's that was fun. Actually, my favorite one. This is this that one it? right here. Yeah, there so it is. she's she's literally like you actually see her mm -hmm. cleaning mm -hmm. the shower head. Yeah, and and then I was waiting for the big reveal and I was like holding my breath. Yeah, until, like, and there it is. Boom! There it is. Ah, and I, I love and that I, that the clean is very quick too. And I also love that she, it, she made it so clean that I could actually see her reflection in it. You see her reflection yes, and the, the, uh, the phone that they're re yeah, recording there, off of. I love that. There it is. That. Yep. Yep. I, I, I love that. I would hold that a bit longer and even take a photo. A little bit longer. Yeah. yeah. But but I like that it's most of it is like, what's going to happen? Yeah. There, where, where's the payoff? There it is. <laughs> oh my god! People can't help but watch when they they know eventually they're gonna yes. see something like like, really like you're holding your breath. That's almost. like jump scares in 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 movies. Like we all hate them because they, they scare us. But it's like when's it gonna happen? I know. It's like mm -hmm. going to a haunted house. Um, uh, she has a lot of per, per personalities here. Here 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 we see her mm -hmm. dancing. That's cute. I almost want I want to see more of this mm. because again, that tells me that she's a fun person. It, to and be around and to be like comfortable in my, I would be comfortable with it. her coming in my house. That's it. If I knew that she had a fun personality and she was, because like looking at her smiling face, like it, whether or not this is true, j just because I don't know her, I, I assume that she is fun, friendly and trustworthy, you mm -hmm. know, because she's putting herself out there. So me getting to know her even through a YouTube video yeah. tells me that she's trustworthy because if she wasn't, then she wouldn't put herself out there. This is why you have... Oh, sorry, Nathan, go go ahead. Oh, well, I, I wanted to say on on, the, on terms of uh, the, um, the before and after videos and the cleaning videos, yes. um, they would be... Not only should we recommend that maybe she shoot more of them, but if she can get somebody uh, like an assistant, an intern, to, to somebody do the video who, for can, her. who can film those for her mm -hmm. I, I agree. Uh, with like a really steady camera and show like the steady every step, yeah. like something that's maybe more complex to clean. Mm -hmm. Like there's, there's one video like where she oven? was cleaning an oven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just hard to see the process because she yeah, has to hold the phone. So mm -hmm. if she could find a way to, to get somebody to do that or mm -hmm. put it on a tripod and the value of this too is she can do it herself or with somebody right. who works for her. Not so she doesn't have to hire us, you the, know. The other she thing she gets a lot of value out of that though. Um, like if she, she if she does more than clean, like she could set up the the time lapse mm. on a tripod. Yes. And like yes, this yeah. So then she could do show all that and yeah. And why we'll, are you smiling at me? Did I say something wrong? No, I'm not okay. no, 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 I'm, I'm like, I, did I mess up time lapse? No, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm because I, like I want to be satisfied with like here's a yeah. messy room and then mm -hmm. oh it's so mm -hmm. clean. Like that would give me another good feeling. Yeah, and, uh, to jump on your idea, you know, like to get a like a real like a nice camera, mm -hmm. one that can do a time lapse. Um, Most like, phones can do a time lapse now. But she of a higher really, echelon. This, well, poor this woman is where is, we would. I was going to say she, she's a business owner. Like, she's just yeah. starting. This is where we would recommend, like, you yes. know, if we were offering yes. our photo Got and video it. services, yes. Got it. So then we come somebody. in and 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 um, with a very wide <laughs> angle, get like the whole room or gotcha. get you know the whole point. shower area, you know something. I thought you were trying to get her by a six thousand dollar camera. I'm like, you've lost your mind. No. Well, okay, who got knows? It. Maybe she's a hobbyist and she. Likes <laughs> that, 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 that's true. People do easily go to, um, hey, go get a GoPro because they're affordable and blah blah. The, yeah. uh, unless you're shooting outside, GoPros are worthless. Really, they are terrible quality, mm. and they make mm. your product, they make your brand look mm. bad. Um, like if they're outside, they're freaking great, mm -hmm. but, um, don't, don't get anything like a GoPro or an action mm -hmm. cam. But I, I think having a camera set up 
just a little like clamp tripod that you can like mm. like this like this act this tripod right here it actually came from a cell phone tripod that oh. you can mount mount your tripod to and then shoot around it you know oh. like shoot it but steady steady mm. shots I think would really sell more um I want to see more of her definitely I want to see more personality in this because that's exactly it you and I both saw her dancing here mm -hmm. and we were like uh I mean my biggest concern with having a house cleaner is the the terrifying realization that someone's in my house yep uh, I'm letting you see my innermost sanctum. Yeah. My secrets. My yes. you're cleaning my secrets. Yes. <laughs> um, but if 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 a you enjoy what what, what you do, that's immediately going to mm -hmm. endear me to mm -hmm. you that much more. But if 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 you're getting into this like she yep. is, I yep. I legitimately yep. love this, and I love that she's on brand as well. Although and she's on brand, I don't know if she is that her. I don't know if the shirt is branded, but if she, it could, is, it okay. is. I see her lo yep. logo. Then that's absolutely fabulous. Um, the only thing I have an issue with this, and just mm. something to keep in mind, is you're dancing a lot here. Not you, but uh, Kathleen is dancing a lot here. Okay, maybe minimize that a little bit. Yeah. Maybe half it. Yeah, like here I am cleaning, and then a little and dancing, a and little, go back yeah. to cleaning. Yeah, like you, you, that she's not stopping the cleaning to dance, right? Because you don't want clients to see that, and especially if you're looking f to grow mm -hmm. to get those bigger clients. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want your clients to think, "Oh, you're dancing on the clock." Yeah. Yeah. So what this looks like to me is uh, encouraging uh, more and we're for the almost entirely we're encouraging um, her to create content. Mm -hmm. I think um, so. Which is great because it's it's more accessible. Um, also, uh, the most valuable thing for actually sealing the deal and getting the contracts, I have to say, is that it has to be the testimonials. Yeah. This other stuff is, an, is a great addition mm -hmm. to uh, improve. I don't know, uh, just the general appearance mm -hmm. and, and get more maybe people looking. Mm -hmm. But the real sealing the deal mm -hmm. is Correct. the testimonial. It, it is. so yep. valuable. So I'm going to pitch one last thing, which I think is very needed in order to seal the deal. Mm. I think Kathleen needs a video business card. Okay. One of the things any business owner is going to tell you is that time is money. The more time you spend going to locations to interview a client to see or for them to interview you, the less money you're making and the more money you're actually losing. So having a super high end polish, not super high end, but a high end polished 60 second or less video business card that she can hand to people who are like, hey, we want to know more about you. We read your reviews. We saw your website. We want to know more about what you do. A good video that is 60 seconds or less that explains who she is, what she does, and why she does it better than anybody else will seal that deal yep. fast. Yep. And then you sprinkle in those testimonials in there. Yep. She mm -hmm. only needs to write maybe like two paragraphs of, of speaking text. Mm -hmm. Everything else will do its job for you. Mm -hmm. But that video business card can live on every social media and sent to every email that requests you. Oh, yes. Have it right, linked at the bottom. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Okay. I minutes. slowed down at the end there to make sure I hit right at one. You nice. got it exactly <laughs> on time. So do we go into photo Let's now? Let's go into photo. And I will Nathan. set you up. Uh, right. do, do you want to be on Instagram here? Um, is, that, is that your choice? There's fa Facebook and Instagram. There is not too much on Instagram. So Instagram and website I would like to go over. You got it. Um, so I looked at. So just should I touch on the photo she has already on her website? Um, yeah, I mean, real briefly. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to say that, um, good job posting photos before and after. Just be very, cl um, careful about posting some photos that are unedited. So it's super easy if you take a photo with your cell phone and things look yellow, mm, go mm. to brightness, contrast, and adjust the color, even on your phone. Just do very basic editing on your phone. That's very important because when I look at some of these and like the light is yellow, I, I don't remember where I saw it. I think perhaps on her website, I'm afraid to touch this now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. know, I, I know what you're yeah. talking about. If I can So yeah, so the, the quality something. of the photo is pretty important when you're showing the work that you can do. Especially when when it's supposed to be clean. Yes, so, because yellow makes it look dirty and dingy. Yes, it does. Yes. So what I'm oh. looking at right now, she she has some before and after, mm -hmm. and, and they're not 
they're not necessarily bad, but the fact that it, it's they're sort of cut off here, yes. they could be. Uh, she could have this be one photo yes. here for the before, the second photo exactly. after, mm. and uh, some of it's just it seems like it's it, been cut off. Yes. Um, by so be careful about your uh, ratio and framing okay. and stuff like that. So but yeah. you see what I mean, like how yellow it is. So even if that's clean, to me, yellow doesn't say clean. Correct. Yes. Correct. So it, it just could be the lighting, which I'm sure it is, because she does a great well, job. Well, that's so. tung tungsten lighting, yes. like bathroom lighting, or so tungsten. So if you're doing your own photos then turn on the flash or do some editing or open blinds yeah, for natural light yeah. and i would definitely suggest you know for professional photos when i looked at her website and i hit about me i want to know what uh, she looks like yeah take us over to the website real yes. quick because i think that's so i definitely want to see a nice shiny pretty smiling headshot of her so now right, when you so go we don't to see that so we don't we don't right see now. like i don't know who she is i don't Especially know what she looks name. like yes your name is the your name company. is on the company i yes. want to see cat kathleen yes and mm -hmm. then i st and then her logo's cute i'm like oh i wonder if that's her you know mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah just i want to see right. her so if if that's her shiny face you know that's great i also want to see a photo of her and and we noticed that on the website it does appear that there's some stock images yep. and there's yep. a, one yeah so get like rid of the animated. stock images um i would you know if if she were to hire a professional photographer such as myself i happen to be one i would not, not only do that i would take photos of her um actually in action cleaning okay you know, action shots action shots okay i would uh, show her team, I mm -hmm. would like to show her team all in matching branded you know, I think outfits. Matching. Yes. Not like that might be a good photo for the, the top header, that, like exactly. the whole team standing oh, in front of a house. Exactly. So Instead of the car, I would love that. I'm I like, oh, here's all that. the smiling faces that are coming to help me with yep. all my deep cleaning issues that I so desperately need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. th that would be amazing. I, th I think a team photo would put push everything mm -hmm. all over the edge. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Um, I also would. Um, show like the before and after i would definitely show that in professional well-lit photos mm. and i would say something like if if i don't i might be because i'm not a cleaning expert so take this with a grain of salt but if there's a way to show dirty normal clean and then deep clean oh. i would lose my mind as a client i'm like oh i want the deep clean for sure like i would pay extra like let's say something spilled on the couch so like here's a regular person just cleaning it up and then there's here's kathleen cleaning it right. up with the deep clean and it, like it doesn't like you don't have to advertise the product exactly. or like exactly or like you know that like, like how you yeah. do it or anything but this, like, like, this like is that. how she differentiate differentiates herself from the other companies because yes, she specializes yes. in that yeah, because um, that, that wouldn't have been uh, known to me as an mm -hmm. option. Like, there's not just cleaning, mm -hmm. but there's deep cleaning. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have been aware of yeah. that. So. Uh, also, I would highly recommend not putting the, the cute little oh. logo well, girl show, on, 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 on the photos. Because when you're looking at the photos, usually the eye goes, the rule of photography, the brightest part of the image gets the most attention. Right. In those photos that she's posting, the photos are not edited, on so Instagram. they're darker. Yeah, I'm going And out. Instagram and the website, mm. and pretty much okay. all the photos. So you don't want the logo to be the feature. You want the clean uh, before and after to be the feature. So I would just skip posting the logos on the photos altogether. Right. And yeah, I, I would definitely... Hmm. Yeah, I think in terms of like the, some of those on the Instagram, some of them just get cut off in, in yeah. a way that looks a little bit, um, it, it, it's distracting. Mm -hmm. yes. like some Even text gets cut off. Yes. So we probably just recommend getting more clean, clear, yes. uh, cohesive yes. photos. Yes. See, like right now, it's yeah. like, oh, I can't appreciate the sink because my eyes like, oh, what's that in the corner? Well, I okay. mean, yeah, the, 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 this one right for, here. For video, it's, that's, it's not. That, that's for not video, that it's actually not too bad because yeah. the the movement catches your eye. But right. when I'm talking about photos specifically, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the, uh, on on her Instagram, she doesn't have a lot of posts on her Instagram, mm -hmm. and there's only one, two photos like yes. that. Yes. So mm -hmm. obviously, I mean, if she hired a professional so. company to do photos for her, then she would have enough photos to keep posting on Instagram pretty right. much for the whole year. So, yeah. what other photos do you think? She would really need. I, I love the idea of, of, of the team photo. That okay. is awesome. I also, I want to see the type of um, things she uses. Like, does she use um, super high quality products? You know, which she mentioned mm -hmm. in the phone call that she does. I would show those high quality products alone, and then I would show them the team using it. Would you? Like, would you show the actual products, like the brands? Because oh, good point. Like if it's a like, for example, um, I know I do. And, and most people nowadays, they care about, you know, like is is the product environmentally friendly, pet friendly, 
stuff like that. That's super yes. important. So if I it's, agree with if that. it's like, you know, pet friendly, non poisonous stuff that they use on the floor and my dog is going to walk on it. I would want to see a photo of the product, and, the, and so you, I can Google it and be like, okay, "Okay, I am assured that this is a high quality product." You'd actually do like a product shop, but like the the whole uh, the whole bevy of things that they're using on that day, yes. like, the, like the whole collection of yes. products. Show them all, yes. kind of like the the tools of of what they're yes, the, the doing. tools yeah. of the trade, so to speak. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and if she has a special, um, super high. Um, what is it called? The actually, it's I think it's called the the green deep cleaning machine or something. I, I see yeah, 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 YouTubers yeah. Oh, use I've it. I've used it. It's great, right? Yeah, you know that would be amazing too. Because I'm like, oh yeah, she uses the good stuff. Then I would want to know about that yeah. too. And okay, her in okay. action. I, I would we do? I'm sorry, you go first. No, I'm I, sorry. No, it's it's. I, I have nothing to really add there. I just like I think seeing more of her yes. in the images or her crew. Mm-hmm. Like that's gonna push me over the edge to be like, oh, these are human beings. Yes. It's not a cleaning yes. thing. Yes, these are actually people. Mm-hmm. Like right. that pushes me over mm-hmm. the edge. Yes, and I was gonna say, is there any reason to do anything outside of like documentary style shooting if we were to go shoot uh, for have her? The like, headshots. Head shots. Yeah, that... yeah, I would do headshots of her and all the employees. You right. know, maybe with a little bio maybe underneath. Like, that'd be oh. cool on the website. Yeah. yeah. That would like be pretty neat. short bio. Very short. Like, you know, he, here's why Kathleen would talk about what's important to her and her business. And then her employees would be like, you know, I love working with Kathleen because or my favorite thing about cleaning or yeah. or my specialty is X. I like the spe- specialty. Yeah. But I also like, like, I mean, this is why I like cleaning. It's a great feeling. Like, have you ever like, like cleaned your kitchen, like on your hands and knees and gotten up and your back hurts and you're like, everything feels right in the world. Like you really like harmonious mm-hmm. after you clean something. Yeah, I, I get that satisfaction from vacuuming. That's why I need the whole clear yes. vacuum tube to see to the see. dirt. Oh, nothing makes me happier. My wife does the same thing. She <gasps> loves seeing all like the grime. Oh my come god, up. it's a female thing, I guess. You know, <laughs> I get a, such a satisfaction of dumping that can out. You have no idea. Okay, yeah. but I mean that's kind of cool. Like, that would kind of be a little. Like if someone were to say that, like I get a, such a satisfaction to see how much we can take out of the house. Oh, if somebody showed that and it's like I was looking for some somebody to clean my right. house, oh, I would be like, yes, this woman is just like me. This is what I want in my house. And if I'm going to hire somebody to do it, then they're going to do the same well, thing. And they're going to take the time to really mm-hmm. get all that deep cleaning yep. out, Yep. which is going to make me so much happier because I had no idea that stuff. Like that would actually be good. Like the before, before and after mm-hmm. is good. Yep. But what about like, here's all the stuff mm-hmm. we took out of the house. Yep. Uh, I had no idea yeah. that it was that bad. Yeah. R- remember, I don't know. It wasn't at your house. I think it was my house. I did this little weird experiment. I vacuumed and I dumped out the, the vacuum bag, um, the container. And I went back and I'm like, I wonder what's left over after I actually oh. vacuumed. Oh, my God. Like another half a can, but like much smaller debris. So I guess that's what she means by deep cleaning. Yeah. So if she were to show me that this is step one, but this is deep cleaning step two, and then there's more dirt coming out, uh, I would lose my flipping mind. I would be well, so that's nice. happy. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, sorry, I know that's off the photo topic, but yeah. That, that could just, be shown in photos, though. It'd be like uh, first first run is yes, like this amount of dirt, and then second right. run, mm-hmm. third run yes. of, of through. Like that'd yes. be kind of like, cool. Like, this, this is how much you, you care about yes. your job. You see the piles of dirt getting smaller, but you go, oh, shit. The, like, but it's that three, much cleaner, still, yes. Yeah. So yeah. that's good. Did okay. we just create extra work for her? Now she's like on step three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, also, if that is an actual photo of her car, I would mm. love to see her in the car. I would love to see employees around the car. Yep. Um, I would love to see a photo of like um, a happy client waving to the car if she goes she yeah. goes off yeah. because like now she's like, oh, thank you. I'm so satisfied. I'm so happy, you know, waving it like it, it, it very much, you know, like it, it puts the the viewer of the photo in, in, in their shoes like, oh, I want to be happy. Correct. As, you know, I end up with a clean house. You know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's why you show reaction shots to begin with in mm-hmm. photo or video is mm-hmm. like you're literally putting the audience in those shoes. Mm-hmm. So anytime you show a client in a photo or video, know that regardless, subconsciously, the client, mm-hmm. or the new client mm-hmm. is putting themselves in the, those shoes. So just keep that in mind, everything you shoot. Um, I want to add one more photo yeah, thing. Please. I would like to see some graphics. Such as? Such as uh, like on the in, in Instagram, especially on the Instagram or Facebook. I, I think, oh, we'll get into Facebook. Well, okay, I, have such a, I want to see what they do. 
like they have one image here where they have, you know, the the graphic here uh-huh. and then Kathleen Squeaky Clean. And then they have a list of stuff. Uh-huh. Okay. That's a lot of text that I'm not no, going to look at because it, like, it, hurt, it hurts my eyes. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really busy. Mm-hmm. I would like one image maybe of a kitchen. Okay. Right? We clean ovens or deep clean ovens or something like, yes. like, like that with like text and maybe a graphic like, hey, did you know that a deep clean cleans out 99% more bacteria in, a regular, your, in clean. a regular clean? Ooh. Something like that, right? Just something super simple. And then the more of those they have, mm. I'm going to be able to look through those and go, not only am I learning, but you're pushing me to the edge of uh. paying me, but... You're so all, the graphics are tips on cleaning? Kind of. Okay. Not tips to clean, but like, here's why we do this or like, oh, here's like information. Facts. facts. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then like you were saying, show me the difference between a normal clean and a and like what, what Kathleen can mm. do. Right. Difference between one and the other. That's versus good, pro. That's a post itself. But yeah. then do a graphic on there. It's like oven cleaning, mm. shower cleaning. Instead of having like a list of 300 things on yeah. one image, do one image each. And then just keep posting them yeah. over and over yeah. and over. And you could sprinkle in other things in oh, between. 100%. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be like rows and rows no, of this. No, God, no. Yeah. I, I would do it like if you were posting every day a week, mm-hmm. if you were posting seven days, I would maybe do one. Mm-hmm. And should people be posting seven days a week to Instagram? It depends. I, I, I think it, it, it how, how it depends. The rule of thumb is, yes, you should post mm-hmm. every, every day. Um, but maybe that's not your demographic. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's not your target market. Maybe three times a week. Yeah. yeah. It's, I would, especially for her, I would rather see quality content mm. rather than blowing me away with just yeah. constant content. Yeah. But if you're going to have a, an Instagram page up that uh, Instagram is very photo heavy, obviously, yes. mm-hmm. you should have more posts than what she has yeah. or yeah. just take it right. down altogether. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you're going to be humorous, then... You know, do do it like Jason said in a routine. So it would be, you know, before and after cleaning and dancing, you know, graphics and then humor and then before and after, you know, cl- so more like clean. Post within a cycle. So exactly. that every post is follows yes. the same week. Right. This yes. week we post today mm-hmm. we post this and that. I, I yeah. think that's what Jason uh, does really well with his Instagram. I try. Not, now on hiatus. But. Now on hiatus. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get back Coming to it back in a couple soon. weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you're you're right. I think having that kind of uh, constant flow. Mm-hmm. Because if I go to her Instagram and I'm just interested in seeing the before and after, I can look through really quick and go, okay, this row right here, I'm just going to look real quick. Yep. But what's right. going to happen is you're going to be inundated with other stuff in there and be like, well, I didn't know she cleaned that. Let me look at that. And then you're going to start looking at the other graphics. Then you're going to start looking at these other stuff. Um, I think your Instagram needs to be professional, though. Your Instagram needs – oh, God, we're talking about marketing. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, photo. Uh, you need a lot more. <laughs> yeah. A lot more photos. A lot, a lot more, more photo. photos. And a lot it, more of the same stuff with maybe a little bit better on the editing and the mm-hmm. cropping yes. and mm-hmm. things yes. like that. Yeah. I and mean, that's a basic recommendation. It's, it's super easy. It'll go like, a long way. You can you can go on, on YouTube and Google and be like, you know, how do I edit my photos? It's like you right. can do it on your phone. It's, it's not it, difficult. It is pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah. And how to and how to format it best, and all. because also do you want to say people don't want to click on a photo to make it bigger. They need to see the full photo. That so be careful so with important. the photos on the website. Yeah, because you have to click on it to see the whole thing. No one wants. No to. one's doing that. Yeah, yeah. It, people are lazy. You just have to make it easy for like, them. Like literally, we do it because we're trying to see. Mm-hmm. But if. If, if, if I'm going through here, mm-hmm. I'm looking for the information yeah. and it's, it's, it's cut, cut like off. Your, your phone number is cut, cut off. Mm-mm. That's a no, no. That's a problem. Yes. Cause that, that sort of tells me subconsciously that you're not, you know, really paying attention to right. the small details, which we know that she is. So. She is, mm-hmm. but subconsciously that tells me mm-hmm. she's not paying enough, paying attention to the small details, yep. which is how is that going to translate to my house? Yep. All right. You guys ready to jump into marketing? Marketing. Yeah. Nathan. Okay. Um, Don't forget. I'm going to start the timer again. Thank you. All right. So what do we want to say for marketing? I mean, first of all, we had some thoughts about the website. Mm -hmm. Um, She told us that the website needs work. So um, we talked about maybe the best thing for us to do is give some recommendations. Number number one is get a new domain name and either use that to build a website around it or reroute the current website mm-hmm. to the domain mm-hmm. name because people need to be able to type in her name. and Yes, that. if somebody can type in KathleenSqueakyClean.com, it's more accessible. Yep. Correct. Yep. Um, now, we also talked about this is a one-page website, so mm-hmm. they don't have multiple segments. Mm-hmm. There's a, a th- these There's three a bars, mm-hmm. but it only... It, it, it just it jumps to it. I think that's called PHP. 
we're literally like that's how our our, our website works. Okay. So, like we do have other sites. Like, yeah. like we have the main site and then mm-hmm. like five other pages. Mm-hmm. But the grand majority of the information is on that gotcha. one page. And actually for what she's doing, I don't think she needs Oh, that's an important point. Sometimes you don't, it doesn't have to be as complex as other websites. And that's absolutely fine. But when I click on the about me, I want to see who this is about. So what happens when you click on the about me, it jumps to uh, high quality products, book your services with Kathleen. No, I want to see her face. This is about me. I am this business person. So I would definitely recommend having a headshot on there. You told me last year uh, that... uh, uh, Google wise, mm-hmm. search wise, mm-hmm. business wise, yeah. the about me page is probably the most important page on your entire site. That's the first page that people go to after the home page because yes. they want to know who is the business, who's behind yep. the business and what they look like and what they have to say about, you know, like, yes. hi, I'm Kathleen. Did you know that my specialty is deep cleaning at the bare minimum? I, I, I have kids. I love my job. Yep. I started my business and blah, blah, blah. Yep. And here's my employees, you yes. know, because I want to know who's coming into my house. I want to know who's running this business. Yes. I, I want to know if because people make this, the decision to trust someone based on their looks alone, whether True. we whether we admit it or not, it's, it's just that simple. So nothing says I am friendly and approachable than a really nice headshot with bright, open eyes smiling at yes. the camera. So it's sadly, but that's it's, the truth. Well, it's, very, it's a very simple but effective. effective yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what's the statistics that I looked up? Um, 60% uh, or more, 60% of the people who are looking for a business through websites are more likely to book if they have a very good about me page right. with a headshot. Right. Wow. Those right. are facts. Those are facts. And she doesn't. So right there she could be losing business. So that would be the simplest fix to do, do you like think that, immediately. Is that the number one recommendation maybe? Have an about me page with a headshot? Yes. I mean, um, seems in terms of just the website. I would maybe look at the logo. Logo. Mm. Okay. Because I think you need something that transfers you. Uh, Kathleen needs something mm-hmm. that transfers over to every page. And she has the graphic. Mm-hmm. And a graphic is not a logo. Um, it's a good graphic. It's it's it's, it's fun. It's entertaining. Uh, what's, what's the graphic so exactly? So the graphic is the woman in the pink shirt oh, okay. hol- holding the cleaning supplies. Oh, I, I didn't um, notice until now that that's actually a very sexy woman. Is that something? I think you already said that, didn't you? Um, not not this time. No, I think <laughs> that was a little. Oh, okay, I see. So you know, just be. I mean, if that's her brand, that's great. But just be careful what the sexy woman might say. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Um, I in think... terms of in terms of the target, um, your target market customer, yes. Do they want yes. a sexy brand? Yes. So that's it's yes. Worth that's thinking that's about. exactly it. Is is your brand a sexy brand, or mm-hmm. is it a trustworthy brand? Mm. You know, so. I agree. Um, I, I would look at a new logo. Like a logo is something that can be put on absolutely anything, mm-hmm. not only online but shirts, anything mm-hmm. else mm-hmm. that can have one color. Mm-hmm. And logos are not expensive nowadays. They are it's not, not even thousands of dollars. And like could the used... logo be a silhouette of this uh, mm. of this graphic? Like. I've seen, you know, even you like can mm-hmm. it, it, the Twitter th- is the Twitter bird. Is that a logo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that's a logo. Like, like this just right, right here. But it's also a graphic, though. The oh, Twitter it, bird it can be a graphic. Yes. but it is a logo. Gotcha. Because um, it can be done with one solid color, and correct? One right. Shape. Right. And it, it, it's that the logo needs mm-hmm. to be put on everything you do. Yeah. Contracts. Are you going to mm-hmm. print out a contract with with a sexy girl a on multi-colored it? Multi-colored mm-hmm. graphic. Yeah. That's the thing, though. I mean. I, Maybe this is a, the kind of brand that wants that kind of personality. Mm-hmm. So maybe true. this is something yeah. she puts Very on true. everything. Yeah. It's just, you know, I think with the logo, what you're suggesting is the logo is just simpler. It's very simple. Yeah. It, but it's, it should be simpler. It should she be can, simpler. If she, can get a, if she can put it on shirts, if mm-hmm. she can mm-hmm. put it on hats, mm-hmm. if she can put it on yeah. contracts, then shouldn't she just go ahead and do that? Because then it's one recognizable image. It absolutely is. Uh, just no that when you shrink that image down to something that's very small mm. that can fit on a pen mm-hmm. how is that going mm-hmm. to look yeah. right it right. needs to be able to be recognizable mm-hmm. at a distance what that mm-hmm. that, that that is you need right. to be able and to it, see it on a storefront everything and it's else totally totally okay to take your current um, graphics and logo and branding and reach out to a professional True. and say 
hey, this is the idea that I like. These are the colors I like. What can we do to make it a little bit more cohesive mm. and on brand? Mm. So you don't have to change everything. You just have to maybe refine it a little bit. And it shouldn't take a lot of money to to find somebody could, that can tweak it and make it a little bit but more. Right. Even if it does cost more than you think mm-hmm. it is, it's, remember it's this. Be worth the your investment. logo goes on everything. Yep. Your logo is the fa- face of your company. Yep. Before they see you, before they see the name of your company, they're going to see yep. the logo. They have to be recognized. Right. Yeah. And, and just based on that, when, when I used to um, post a lot more weddings, you know, because I'm kind of cutting back on weddings a little bit, my uh, my logo was mm. like people literally like kept seeing it over and over and over and over and over again. And they're like and then they're driving by my studio and they're like, oh, that's her that's space. That's you know, it. so that's the connect. Mm. That's what you're looking for. Um, something else really quick on the web- website. I don't know if you want to dive in more into mm. the logo or not. I was just going to say about the logo, if she really likes the girl mm-hmm, with, mm-hmm. The, with the graphic, yeah. mm-hmm. a silhouette of that might be doable. You know, mm-hmm. you, she could do something. Yeah. If that's her, if, that stylized. Is, if that's her brand identity she's going for, oh, yeah, something stylized. Yeah. Can you pull up Facebook real quick? I th- I, I was, um, when we're looking at her, all her socials. <gasps> You're right. Okay, is, on, isn't there a time. logo on Facebook that just kind of jumped out at me? And I'm like, oh, that's really cute. It's an older one, okay. too. Um, actually, it's on the top here. Okay. I love this. I, I do love too. this. I, I honestly think. I think can, this, can I say that this is better than what she's using right now? I think so too. I'm sorry. Uh, like in this, all honesty, this right here with with the gloves on, yep. and it still gives me that like personality. Like I know that she's a sassy woman, yes. and I know she like the way that she, the, the, she's holding this mop and like her hands on her hip with the gloves. I'm like. This is a woman in charge that's going to take care of my house. And you could do this as a silhouette and ju- ju- just have yeah. lips and a smile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. all you have to do is change the orange into pink. And yeah, that's right. your, if, you, if you're into right. the colors more. Right. But girl, this this logo is way better. I'm sorry. This um, graphic is way better yeah. as yeah. your branding. I'm just saying. So if you don't want to change anything, just go back to this and tweak it. I you're think, good. I think that one is so I, I love this so much. It's very. And it still shows that she's she's a woman. She's a feminine woman. Yeah. But it shows confidence and, and business. It, more, it, it does. Yes. Like this a, shows she, more she's business. a confident, in charge business woman versus a sexy woman who cleans houses which might give the wrong impression yes especially since your target market is is women women that's a good point um while we're on the topic of facebook i think you need to be on facebook more yeah it's a local business you are not trying to target people in chicago Mm -hmm. you're not trying to target people in other states you are local business nothing there is no better social media platform Mm -hmm. than uh, Facebook when it comes to sharing local. Yep. Yes, and especially like it, people. Yeah, yes, people that's have, what it is. Uh, don't, don't you belong to like an Elgin based business? Like something? A, a couple, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So like she could join all, she could just Google um, Elgin anything yep. and mm-hmm. then just start joining those groups. And then I, you share. I share, imagine, share. yeah, I imagine the best funnel for her to get people to get eyeballs on her business is those referrals from uh, things yep. like oh, Facebook. hundred yep. And then once they find her when they see all these testimonials mm-hmm. that we're recommending yes. she put up that posts. gives her that brand mm-hmm. identity and authority and that's authority that's what seals the deal yep. probably mm-hmm. that's that right. will seal a deal that's yeah. because right. when it comes down to it word of mouth is the best kind of advertising there is right mm-hmm. yeah. word of mouth doesn't always mean me talking to you yeah it could mean someone on facebook going we just had kathleen come and clear our house it was amazing boom boom mm-hmm. yeah that's free advertising yep. right there she yep. takes a screenshot of that post that on on her socials Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Or even better yet, someone shares it and it's other people mm-hmm. see it. Yep. yep. I'm going to trust my friends before mm-hmm. I trust an yep. advertisement. So th- on, on branding also, like why we're harping on the the, um, the, graphic. the graphic so much is because like, let's say I am in a Facebook group and this page gets shared to me and I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. I look at it. I'm like, let me look her up. I go to Google. I Google her and I end up on her website with the different there's a, a disconnect. Logo. There's a, a whole mar- disconnect. I'm like, right. oh, I must have the wrong person because this Facebook logo is different from what's on her website. Right. And by that right. point, I just shut it down because I already moved on. You already moved on because yes. there is the disconnect. And so can't... I'm like, whether or not I'm getting the wrong person is is besides the point. Like you, right. like yes. your instinct was to, you know, like not go with it because that says it doesn't match up. So, something's yes. wrong. The, the yes. consistency is super key. Mm-hmm. And it's actually very cool to have a, if she's if she's going to have a graphic, to have a character to represent her mm-hmm. business. I, I like actually that. think that's yes. cool. And if you have that character popping up everywhere, mm-hmm. 
That's a neat that's, strategy. For yes, you. Yeah. very recognizable. I kind of want. I cannot get over how much I love this compared to compared the to other. The new one? I, I love it. Everything like I, I don't know who designed that, but they I did love a that damn so good job. Much, so much. Um, I would actually go as far to like if you go back to this logo, mm-hmm. I would have I'd go on Fiverr and have someone an- animate it, and it can be as, <gasps> as simple as like kicking up a bottle or a rag or something, and she plugs it behind her and puts the hands on the hips. Yeah. You like can do that. Yeah. yeah. But like and you like and then just put Kathleen squeaky clean We're un- the underneath cleaning it, specialists. and then a web, <laughs> web, web, web web website because no one's gonna call. I mean, they're mm-hmm. go to their website yeah, before yeah. anything else. But an animation like that wow. that you can put at the end of every single Ooh. video and really quick, like a three second thing, like boom, ching, Kathleen squeaky clean. Mm-hmm. And can she like make TikToks and just load that at the end? You can just load it <gasps> in at the end. Brand reinforcement is what we call yeah. it. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, Nathan, you brought it up. I want to talk about it because I think this is direly important. Cohesion. Yeah, cohesion. Everything you post has to tell your brand story. Yes. From a simple photo to a high glossy photo, from a video to text, everything has to come back to does this tell your brand story? Um that comes down to fonts, that comes down to colors, that comes down to attitude, that comes down to shot types and coloring in the images. Like you were talking about the yellow images is really off-putting because yeah, it makes me think of not clean. Mm-hmm. So how do you do this in every single post you do? And right. it's annoying in the beginning. I, oh, I know. It's so annoying to do this in the beginning because like, oh, I forgot to do that. I have to take that down, repost it, blah, blah. But it will become a point where you're like, this is what I do. It just becomes normal. Second nature. It becomes Mm -hmm. very second nature. And no matter what you're posting, no matter what before, after, or or, uh, location photo, or behind the scenes, or whatever, if you use the same thing over and over, like we use the copper frame. Okay, we use a copper frame around our, our social media posts, regardless of who sees it, that's going to integrate in their head and they're going to see, oh, that's Kathleen squeaky clean. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to do use a logo at that yep. at that point. Yep. People are just going to know like you with, with, with your other fo- photography mm-hmm. business, you color things a certain way. You are the only photographer that I can scroll through hundreds of photos and go, Hilda's, 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 because I know you're coloring. Mm. No one else does it. Okay. So, like, to have that kind of brand story is direly important. Mm -hmm. Have more cohesion. Yes. Over everything. Yay. So, is that it? Done or? Oh, yeah. You guys have a minute and a half left. Okay. So, how about each one of us goes through, like, what's their number one recommendation for her? Okay. You go first. Oh, I go first. (laughs) I'm glad that you recommended it and threw it away. Okay. I'm going to say it. Okay. Get a new website. It's mm. Wix. Wix is pretty easy. There's a lot of self-design mm-hmm. websites, and they are mobile-friendly and tablet-friendly and everything else. You only have to do it once. Maybe it's like $100 to host it. Get a new website. End of story. Cool. Jason? Well, um, <laughs> I think a logo is very important to, 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 to have a, a branding identity in the form of an image, I think is very important. But I think... Showing more personality in everything you post is my trump card. I think uh, if you're going to take away anything from this, show more personality because I would rather hire someone that I like versus someone who's just a fake person behind a like a wa- wa- washcloth or a camera behind a washcloth. I want I want to know who, who you are. It's a cleaning rag, dude, not a washcloth. What is wrong with you? So <laughs> I only have 30 seconds. Yep. I want to give mine. Uh, probably the most important thing I would say is get those testimonials out. Try, do what you can to incentivize more reviews, mm-hmm. testimonials. If you can afford it, if you're willing to mm-hmm. do this, give tell your client, I'll mm-hmm. give you 5% off. I, I don't know, something that if you're willing to do such a thing. Mm-hmm. I was just um, going to say something like that. See what you can do to incentivize your customers yep. to uh, let mm-hmm. you record mm-hmm. them telling you how mm-hmm. much they love your, your business. Super, just real quick jumping off of that. So every written testimonial, you could get 10% off next cleaning, but yeah. every actual a video the testimonial, then offer something like really nice. You know, whatever you can make work for yes. you. Yes, you know, exactly. As a, as a but business. the testimonials are going to bring her enough business to cover whatever expense that she's discounting. It's probably the yep. most attractive thing. You on, will on get far media. more business. Yep. Yep. yep, I agree. Guys, that was Kathleen Squeaky Clean. Yay. How do you guys feel about that? Any final thoughts? Good. Uh, I love the idea of, of doing the, the three wrap up. Did you, you came up with that, right? 
the the final no, what, what's was the, was that yours? Yeah, the three wrap up. The 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 last last idea was that yours? The recommendation? No, it was Hilda's. Oh, I was, I was gonna Man, stab you with this pen. <laughs> you're you're pissing me off today. I, no, I wanted to close the loop on the oh, beginning okay. when I slighted you. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, oh, cool. Oh, cool. Book Just, ending it. Exactly. I appreciate that. Story. Wow. Yes. But hey, look at I came up with something smart for that was once. actually that, I mean, no, that was fantastic. I Thank really you. like that because if you're gonna get a, get a takeaway, like we'll what, what, what are your takeaways? I, I think that's absolutely yep. gonna be a new thing. Yeah. Um, any any final final, final thoughts? Final um, about um, anything? Perhaps instead of offering a discount, just say um, do X, and then after you book ten cleanings, your eleventh one is free. Oh, because then this way they're locked into the contract yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they get something. So people are probably more likely to sign a contract yeah. if you offer an incentive of X cleaning is free. That's a, mm-hmm. I kind of like that a lot. That's, Dang, I'm on a roll today. Damn. Yeah. I might have to call Kathleen Squeaky Clean. Mm-hmm. I like the name. Oh, yeah. One thought I, I want to get the beginning was I like Kathleen Squeaky Clean, the name. I can't it's, believe you brushed over that because like we yeah. mentioned it a lot it like, before we recorded. But be at the beginning of this episode that Kathleen Squeaky Clean is a good name. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's got the rhyme. The, the alliteration. No, uh, it's r- rhyme. Rhyme. Kathleen Squeaky Clean. Yeah. Kathleen Squeaky Clean. Clean. Kathleen Clean. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kathleen Squeaky Clean. The alliteration and... Yeah. 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 Even though the letters don't match, but it sounds oh, it like they it do. Matter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just matters if it sounds right. Okay, guys, that was fantastic. Yeah. That was great. Uh, we hope you really enjoyed it, and we hope whether you're a business who deals with cleaning or not, we hope you got something out of this for your own marketing needs. If you are ever in need and want to up your game and your marketing and branding in general, please give us a call or. Absolutely. Don't give us a call. Don't call us. You text can, us. You can email us. Email us. Text us. What is email wrong with you? Us at, call you can us email us at hello at eo7media.com or you can jump on our website at eo7media.com. If you are interested in having your brand uh, showcased on the pitch session, please reach out to us at pitch session at eo7media.com. Write your brand in the subject and we'll give you a form to fill out and we will do all of this magic for you. That's I want to. We gotta. I want to push it more. I want us to yeah. have a marketing campaign just to get people to funnel into the show because this is so fun. We don't have enough to do. <laughs> it's just, so fun. It is fun. It is so fun. Please email it, it, us. It legitimately is fun. Email what? Say it again. Pitch session at eo 7 media. Dot com. Email, just anything. Just say, help me in my business, yes. and we'll do we, it. We, you you we don't need to. It. You don't need to be a big brand no. or a brand that's years see. old. And legit, look at look at this trustworthy female face. It is honestly free. We're not gonna try to sell you anything. You yeah. know, just we just need more people to talk about because we like it. And if you liked what we did here in an hour for free for a company, imagine what we can do for you when you hire us to make your brand shine. Man, that sounded that really salesy. That was so salesy. I, oh I my absolutely God. hated that. You said we're I'm not like, trying to sell you anything. I super yeah, hated no. that because that's what it made it feel like. Sorry. It, she's not, she, we're not trying to sell you anything, but if you like any of the ideas you heard in this episode, give us a you call. You have our email. Yes. And I mean, we, if, if you have a marketing budget and you want to spend it with us, we're not going to be sad. How's that? Th- that's much better than what you did. That's, that's, that's better not, than everything I, I do. I'm, I'm, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm done. Table flip. I'm out. I can't keep this on myself.